Welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming, where we are continuing to get the task, the sawmill, or just sawmill. I guess it's just sawmill. There's no the. I don't know why I threw a that in there. But we are uh, pretty much halfway through with it. We've got just this little bit of a track to go. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, get at it. Fire up this truck. Let me turn down my audio a little bit because it's, uh, it's a little loud. I don't need that uh, interfering with the recordings. Although I don't know if it would, would or not. Uh, but yeah, I want to hear it a little bit, but I don't want to hear too much kind of thing. Any, anyways. Uh, so yeah, we are continuing. Um, <laughs> kind of kind of cracks me up with the Hawk 2. <laughs> that's on top of the... Uh, <laughs> that's on top of the... Uh, the cab there. It's, um, yeah, let's just say if you know, you know, um, it's, it's, I find it funny. I'm going to talk about this for a second, but I find it kind of funny that this girl is now going around doing interviews saying, oh, she's got a manager. She's got this. She's got that. She's trying to sue everyone who came out with Hawk 2 merchandise saying that, oh, she owns the rights. And I'm like, by the time you get any of that rolling, nobody's going to care about you anymore. In fact, I, I. The means have stopped. The uh, the jokes have stopped, and you know what? You're old news now. So uh, go get your job back at your spring factory. Um, I do. I do enjoy the fact that she came out and said, "Look, I'm not a teacher," because I heard that rumor that she wasn't a teacher. Um, apparently, she the the rumor was is that she was a teacher who got fired. That's not true. Um, so that's good. That's that's nice to debunk. And then the uh, the other one was that she's made like two million dollars on merchandise. She doesn't have merchandise yet, but at least at the time that uh, I saw the recording or the uh, the not the YouTube video, the the uh, I think it was this TikTok video actually. I don't know. I, I try to stay off of social media too much, but um, at the same time, I'm kind of a I'm not, I'm not going to call myself an influencer at all, uh, but a YouTube creator. Yeah, I'm OK with that. That's a that's a decent uh, that's a decent um, title for me. But uh, yeah, anyways, I just find it funny because, you know, the next the next viral thing is going to hit and she'll pretty much waste all this time and money and effort into it. So but you know what? If she. If she does end up finding a niche, that uh, that would be pretty cool. I mean, you never know, right? So you try it, you'll see what happens. So, uh, but anyways, not to not to you know rag down on her or anything, but uh, yeah, I just find it funny that she's trying to fight people about merchandising, and I'm like, yeah, this is this is already blown over. Like I've seen every single meme. Um, I've sent the funny ones to my cousins and my friends and all that fun stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's ran its course. And in this day and age, your course runs for about two weeks, maybe four, so maybe a month if you're lucky. Um, and she has, uh, I'm pretty sure she's ran her month. So, uh, anyways, that's all I'm going to say about that. Although that Hawk 2 is kind of funny. So. Uh, yeah, <laughs> if you'd like to chime in on this, please go ahead in the comments and uh, you know what? We might as well talk about other things because I'm uh, not really getting a whole lot of comments about SnowRunner, so I get a little bit, but you know, if you guys want to talk about anything else, I'm completely open for that. If you want to tell me how your Friday or Saturday night went, go ahead, tell me. I'll, uh, I'll read it. I'll respond to it. I, I you know, I'm an equal opportunity uh, comment reader, so... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's get going. Uh, we are in the process of trying to complete sawmill, which is bringing metal beams, which we brought two over already. We were using the Dan for that. And uh, now we're trying to get this oversized trailer over there so that we can uh, fire that up and probably uh, start hauling wood products and things of that sort. Uh, hopefully. I believe we have I believe we have one task in uh, I think it's in the quarry left and then the task will be done and we'll be uh, focusing on the missions 
I think though, for now, I am going to uh, attack the missions that I can do on this map. Since we're here, might as well uh, get those done. And uh, I think that's going to mean that um, we're going to be doing some lumber hauling. So uh, I do have the big cat, but uh, I have been told by a couple of uh, fans, we'll call them. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are fans. If you're fans, that's pretty cool. That's what I'm going to call you for now. Um, I, I want to cut through here. I don't know why. I've, I'm feeling brave. Uh, but anyways, I've been told by my fans that... Uh, the KRS Bandit. I want to call it the KRS-1, and if you guys know, you know. If you want to... Um... I don't know how to say it, because they, they were... Uh, they were separate, but the... Kind of the, the band that I know them from, or I... Yeah. Anyways. They, it, they're mentioned in a Sublime song, so I was going to try to figure out how to get that in the comments, but... Uh, if you know that song, please put it in the comments. <laughs> and uh, anyways, uh, we're going to try the bandit out for doing logs. Uh, apparently it has all the logs, I, I think, unless I misunderstood. Uh, it definitely does long logs, I was told, because that's what I questioned, because I was like, I don't remember seeing a long log holder for that. Um, so I'm hoping it does at least long logs and, um, and medium logs, so... But I don't know, maybe we'll be uh, testing that out shortly because we are, uh, we are already to the sawmill. I, I, I'm not 100% sure if my uh, shortcut worked, uh, but I took it anyways, so yeah. You guys are just going to have to deal with that. So uh, let's unload that. That's 5450, 850 points, which I honestly don't even know if I need experience points anymore. Like, have I unlocked everything yet? I have... I have no clue. I guess we'll find that out one of these days. Um... Alright, alright, so here we go. We've got, uh... One oversized container and two regular containers, so that would be eight slots. Uh, definitely not gonna be doing that with the, uh... With that long trailer, although... I wonder if the cat could do it. Ooh. I'm tempted. It's a big it's a big truck. It should be able to handle it. Um But I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off. I that eight trailer, like I keep trying to use it every once in a while and then every time I do it bites me in the butt. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and activate this one. So we're not doing logging today. Um, so if you guys were looking forward to that, because I just talked about it 30 seconds ago, I apologize. We're not doing that. We are aborting that mission. We will get to that mission sooner or later. Probably later, because sooner we're going to be doing this mission. Uh, so yeah, we're going to pull out a train. Um, I'm going to refuel here. Why not? Um, did I just... Okay. Apparently I just took the gas out of the dam, but that's fine. We're going to get the Azov into position. And we are going to spin the Dan around, fill it up, and then uh, we're going to have a little train going. Uh, okay, good. Now this is going to be a little on the difficult side. Not really. Yeah, I lied. What am I saying? This is going to be dirt easy. Although... This thing has a funky turning radius. And we can turn it in on itself, like... It, it's kind of weird. Uh, but let's refuel. We'll take it out of the, the scout trailer. Still has plenty enough gas in there. I don't think we're going to be using too many scouts. Uh, we'll just... yeah. We'll just sidestep this... Uh, oop. Oh crap. Come on. Turning turning radius. Super slow turning radius. Alright, there we go. Look at that. That was that was pretty smooth if I do ask if I do say so myself. Uh let's change the truck. Let's go ahead and uh attach the winch. And try to figure out which one we want. Is there really two there, two there, and then 
Alright, I'm gonna go with that one. I don't really know why there's four right there. Uh, it, you know what? It is what it is. <clears throat> and we already got a backup. Oh man, I left this gas tank running, didn't I? Or did I not fill it up all the way? Maybe I didn't fill it up all the way. What? How are we stuck already? Come on, Dan. Do your thing. Oh. The, uh, the turning radius are... The turning radiuses right now are killing me. And I'm, uh, I'm hoping we pick up both containers. Uh, I'm gonna be a little bummed if we don't pick up both containers from here. I don't... I know we get the oversized containers from there. Or do we? No, I got a feeling... I bet you we only get the containers, because I thought the oversized containers... Yeah, the oversized containers came from there. Ah, that's a shame. Um... Okay, you know what? That's okay. We'll still we'll still head this way. We will uh Yeah, we'll sell the trailer, we'll recover, we'll get back and yeah, we'll we'll do some uh switching around. But unfortunately the train is is not really gonna be um very long. Like we're not gonna use it very long. Uh we're pretty much just getting both trucks to the trailer store. Where one will pick up the oversized cargo and the other one will pick up the cargo container from the work or from the uh, yeah the warehouse. The garage has the oversized ones. Thanks, Dan. You could have you could have ran into the back of my trailer and pushed me. But no, you didn't want to do that, did you? Wait, there's my character. Can uh, can you change your character's clothes? I've been playing for 200. I don't know, probably 130, 140 hours. And I have no clue if you can change your character's clothes or not. Uh, I don't think you can. I'm thinking of other games. So that's the factory. Oh, we gotta go... Yep. We gotta go this way and go... Outside of town. Uh, did I go the right way? You know what? Good enough. I don't remember ever coming this way, but uh Boy is this place messy. They need it they really need to clean up. Trash needs to be picked up, these tractors that are abandoned need to be picked up and I don't know, sold off and rec recycled maybe or fixed up. And uh yeah, we can cross this lovely bridge that we created. We slaved over that bridge. We uh, put it together in one of the middle episodes of this map. Um, we kind of, we kind of, we we were on this map for a while before we um, before we actually uh, built it. But uh, yeah, anyways, if I could, if I could spit out what I was trying to say. That would make uh, my life go a little bit easier. Alright, so let's do this in reverse now. Let's go into the trailer store. We will sell this trailer. We will recover this truck. Uh, let's go into customize. Let's see. I mean, I don't think... I think the only other things we can unlock are things like this. Like... Complete... Zaludukes time trial. Okay. Well, you know, there there's certain things that you can't get. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the ace of spades though, because that looks kinda cool. <laughs> the bobblehead. Um Ooh the girl, that's that's pretty that's pretty nice. The Dash Hound is the only one that really bobbles. <laughs> like that's Kind of funny. I guess that one probably would. 
Yeah, let's go with the, the card theme. Oh no! I need a I need a play a different uh whatchamacallit. Anyways. Uh let's look at more important things. Uh stock weir Why would that be an option? I can't do it. I can't take them off. I can't put them on. Like what? Why is that a thing? That's the one I want. I don't think there's anything else really that I need to change up. I think we'll just go with the small parking lights. I mean, cabin air conditioner, I guess that that seems like, you know, it would be worth having. I mean, we're in Russia, so it's not very cold. Um, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to keep uh, you know, I kind of like these ones better. I don't know why. I just like the little doohickey on there. If anybody knows what that is, let me know. I have no clue what it is. Um, da -da 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 -da. Colors. I, yeah, I've gone through most of these colors. I'm going to leave the colors for now. Um, there's not much we can do with the engines. Gearbox, that's still locked up. That's going to be Wisconsin. That's a long time till we find the fine tune for that. Tires, I think we're good on tires. I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with these tires. Um spare wheel. Do we need it? I guess we'll take it. It doesn't seem to take up much space. And the saddle's still low, so yeah. I mean, let's just keep rocking with it. Oh good, it's raining out. Yay. Alright, so let's uh go pick up a trailer real quick. Oh, I almost, I almost crashed there for some reason. And, uh, let's, let's be brave. Let's, uh... Let's use this trailer. <laughs> I know, right? Like, oh, let's be different, right? Let's, let's get the exact same trailer with sideboards. It's okay, you know what? It, it, it does its job and it does it well. There's no need to, uh, change things up, right? We don't need to be fancy. We just need things to work. Alright, so... Oversized cargo, there it is. Well, you know what? Here we go again. This is pretty much what we did uh, at the beginning of this episode and a little bit of at the end of the last episode. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do it again. With the exact same cargo, the exact same truck, and uh, a slightly different modified uh, trailer. So... I, uh, I don't see this... Uh, Taking too long. Uh, the the bad thing is, is I'm not sure. Oh, you know what? What am I doing? I'm not thinking here for a second. We need two. No, we need one of these. We need one of them. Uh, let me let me double check something real quick. And by double checking, I mean let's go load up over here. We'll uh. Yeah, we'll grab the two cargo containers. Yeah, okay. I, I don't know why I was, for some reason, I thought to myself, oh, we need two oversized cargo containers, which means I need to grab a trailer. So I was, I was all ready to drag a trailer with a winch and do it that way. Um, so yeah, I think, you know what? You know what I might do? I might do something a little funky today. I think what I'm going to do is, besides grabbing two of those, we're going to kind of split this up. We're going to drive a little bit with the dam. We're going to get to a good spot to stop. And then we're going to switch to the, uh, to the Azov. And then we are going to find a good spot there with the Azov to stop. And then switch back to this one. And we're going to change it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I feel like that's a, uh, that's a wonderful plan, so. Alright, let's see if I can figure out how to get out of here without running over too much stuff. There we go. They, they, they did not... 
They did not make this easy to get out of this place, so... We're just gonna have to uh, abuse the trailer. It's okay, it's a rental, we can return it. And I got the, uh, I got the accidental damage waiver on it, so... Yeah, we don't, uh, we don't need to worry. Alright, so... Oh, wow, what? Uh, I'm going the wrong way. All right. Well, we'll just we'll just have some fun backing up. Although this backing up is not very much fun. Oh, uh, because it is so slow at turning. It had a normal turning radius or a normal turning radius speed. All right. Well, this is going to take the entire episode, so uh, please just bear with me. Okay, now we're... Nope, we're still not good. Alright, so we need little... Little increments. Don't even... Don't even need to really adjust, do you? Okay, let's go that way, though. Really get her to turn. Turn, 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 turn. There we go. Look at that. Oh, it's a thing of beauty when it all works the way it's supposed to. All right, so let's uh, yeah, let's start heading over to the uh, oil field, which I believe is still. Where am I going? Okay, I know where I'm going now. I was heading towards the sawmill for some reason, but uh, yeah, we don't have to go that way, but we do have to go towards that way. So yeah, it, it's all the same. Right? Half a dozen, 50 to... no. Half a dozen, 6 to 1. 6 to 1, half a dozen to the other. Yeah, that's the saying. Alright, now where do I go? I gotta go right. I gotta go right, and then I gotta go left. And if there's no stumps through here, we should be able to get through here pretty smoothly. Look at that. Ah. Mag magnifique. I don't know. I don't speak French. That was uh, a pretty bad attempt at it. You know what's funny is how much I'm using the Dan. Um, I, feel like, I feel like maybe we'll retire it after this mission. Um, it's there, There's better trucks out there to use. Let's just say that. And uh, I just kind of want to try these tires on the... Uh, On the uh, the Dairy Longhorn, I, I almost forgot the name of the thing. Um, okay, we're good there. Let's actually head towards the water because there's logs under there. Pretty good. Uh, pretty good at uh, getting traction for us. This though is a different story. Uh, let's go inside the cab. Wait, what? Okay, good. That scared me for a second. For some reason, I thought we were missing one. Uh, yep, that worked. Nope, that did work, but it didn't work. Worked for a little bit. That's a good, that's a good pull there. Alright. Pretty uh pretty smooth and calm right there. Do that mud. Yeah, these tires are uh, quite impressive. Um even though the the stats 
if you were to just look at the stats that they tell you, um, the tires aren't that great. But uh, yeah, seriously, compared to other tires, they just they drive through the the mud. I wish I was uh, using them a little bit earlier in the game, but you know what? You uh, you use them when you learn about them, right? So there's nothing really much you can do. Burn through here, burn through it. Ah, let's, let's get the winch going. Although, that tree would have been better. Alright. I think this might be a good spot to, uh, actually, heck, we're almost there. <laughs> you know, I, I said, I said, I'm going to stick to what I said. This looks like a pretty good spot to stop it. Um, so let's stop the engine, let's switch over to the Azov, and let's get... Oh. It's, uh, we gotta turn off before the next bus stop. But yeah, this might, uh, yeah. I don't know, let me know what you guys think about doing, uh, asking missions like this where I kind of split up the uh, the long drive between vehicles probably won't be able to do it every time but uh, when it comes to this case it was it was pretty simple to do so I figured what the heck why not let's do something different it's it's definitely something different but uh, kind of the same right all right uh, no, that's not really a good point to attach to. Have you? That's that works. That will pull us upstream. And I don't know how that little guy, that little tree is doing anything. There's my ace of spades. Car freshener. Oh, it smells so good in here. Smells like lilacs and sunflower seeds. I don't know where I got that from. I just pulled that out of thin air. I apologize. That's probably not the greatest of smells. Alright, get this truck up this hill. Oh, 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 what? What? Why? Why did that just do that? I don't like you. I don't like you, <laughs> truck. Um... That's... that's incredibly unfortunate. Um... Alright, well... Let's head into the garage. We gotta find a truck with a, uh... With a crane. Does this one have it? This this is the Tartra. This isn't the KS Bandit. Do I have the KS Bandit? I'm pretty sure I do. Where's the Bandit? Bandit, 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 Bandit. Uh, must have sold it. So let's go to the truck store. Uh, I believe it tells you it will say Bandit somewhere on there. There we go. Ah, you know what? I don't think I've ever looked at this truck. Let's see what the frame added on. Large little crane, log crane, flatbed crane, medium or short lo logging. Maybe it doesn't do medium. Wow, that's 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 nice. Yeah, no, doesn't do medium. Okay, well, um. Tough toots. I guess uh, let's go. Let's customize this bad boy. Let's see. Oh, heavy loading. There we go. This is what we need right here. And you know what? We need 
We need a special paint job. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's perfect. That matches the crane. Let's go to the rescue. Now, I don't know if these tires are any good. Actually, you know what? Let me check real quick. Uh, recover. Let's go to customize tires. Hmm. You know what? We'll just go with it. Why not? There's so many other tires on here. HHDs, ODSs. I heard these are supposed to be really good too. Uh, but not the jack of all trades. I believe it's the... Yeah, I believe it's these ones. Versus these ones. Versus those ones. Versus these ones. So... I'd have to do a little bit of research on there. If anyone knows, let me know what the best tires are for this. Uh, I'm going to keep going with the... Uh, what I call the flotation tires. Um, they seem like they would make the best sense, but... Then again, this game doesn't always make the best uh, sense, so... But anyways, this truck's got some speed, so it shouldn't take us very long to get over there. And it's, uh, it's nice and wide. And, uh, yeah, it's got some big old tires on it. So, yeah, we've got the, uh... We've got the Tega coming to the rescue. I think it's called the Tega, isn't it? Yes, Tega. 6336. 6436. Yeah, 6436. Jeez. Ah. Uh, I should be ashamed. I call myself a YouTube creator. Can't even remember the names of the trucks. Alright, so yeah. I, I figured this wouldn't take long to get over here. This truck is uh surprisingly good. I, I like it. And uh, with the crane on it, it's it's pretty level, and uh, yeah, it doesn't seems nice and white. That's what I'm trying to say. Like with those legs, those should help massively with stability. Uh, we're gonna go to the inside and grab yeah that little bush right there. We're gonna pull ourselves right up on top of this rock. Fact, that's a brilliant idea. I'm going to have to do some more testing. Might head back to the mud pit. Maybe with this truck. I can I can test out like the ODH and the OHS. And compare these tires. Because knowing this game. Um, can I squeeze through here? I guess we'll find out. No, not really. Watch, now I'm probably hung up on this tree. Oh, don't give me that. Don't you give me that. Come on. Thank you. Alright, let's go. Yeah, let's just go that way. There you go, look at that. Should be able to just go right up through here. That, that, was, that was a little strange. I don't know what happened there. Um, yeah, we'll sink the tires in there. Activate the anchors. Yeah, that makes us real stable. I hope. Yep, well, let's go the other way. Let's try to flip this container over. I'm not really paying attention to the, uh... What's going on with the truck? Ooh, 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 ooh. Easy does it. Easy does it. No, nope. I want to go up, but I want to go down. Lower crane. I want to go out with the boom. There we go. Okay, let's, uh... Perfect. Uh... Let's switch trucks real quick. Let's, uh... Start engine. Oh, it's not gonna let me pack that? Are you kidding me? Uh, 
All right. Well, let's try to get this better. That's why I didn't, uh... That's why I didn't, uh... Come on, swing that way. Come on, swing in there. I can't see. There we go. Oh, that's so much nicer. All right. I don't think that's going to work either. Nope. Alright, um, we're going to have to... Let's go into crane mode. We got to bring everything just slightly closer. Um, yeah, so let's jump back into the Azov. Oh, that dropped my... Okay, let's try to get this closer. That it should be okay with. Um, let's change trucks. Go back into crane mode. Pick this up. I don't know why it's getting so close. Doo, 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 doo. Let's rotate the cargo. Yes, this is a slow, very slow process. And now we can... Wait, what? Yeah, like, this is what I don't get. Winch, triangle, lift, lower, circle, mode, exit, circle. It's the same command. All right, anyways, we can lower it like this. Okay, and if that, that doesn't allow us to pack it, in fact, I, I know it will. Let's restore this. Let's back this up a bit. Throw it in, we will stop the engine, we will change trucks, and we will pack cargo. There, we are back to, uh, yeah, back to going where we're going. Uh, we'll skip to morning. We'll rest up, you know. That was a long night having to deal with loading up this trailer again. Funny thing is, is that's the first time I've tipped it there, so... That's probably why I was kind of surprised, because I've... Done that route a couple times now? And I did it once before with this exact same load, so... Not really sure why it wanted to tip over. I might have just been slightly out of uh, the path that I wanted to be on, maybe? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Anyways, let's get this, uh, let's get this delivered. <clears throat> We're just gonna gun it through this mud and high gear and just fall our way through it. Look at that. It starts moving once you, uh, once you get through the mud. And yeah, I might as well ask you guys, because, uh, you guys may know. I'm trying to figure out how to get, like, a stopwatch on my editing software so that I can do... Almost like a time trial, like I want to be able to show the time of how long it takes to get through said 
say a mud puddle because um, I kind of want to test it and see if uh, you know does it take longer to go through the mud puddle the first time or the third time or the fourth time or is it the fastest to go through the fresh and then every time after that it just gets worse um, yeah I'm trying to trying to figure that out so I try to, I'm trying to figure out how to do a time besides just doing a timer on my phone and then saying you know what the results are um, I've seen it done before oh great this is that this is that log that snags things perfect now I'm around all right let's uh let's split our way up through here Try to stay out of as much mud as possible. Anyways, I, I don't remember if I finished talking about what I was talking about. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out how I can add a stopwatch mechanism to my editing software. Now, I don't use DaVinci Resolve. I know I should. Um, I tried using it. I know it's a free program and it just was overly complicated for what I needed my editing to be. So I never really pursued it much more. Um, that probably has, I'm assuming that's what most YouTubers use is DaVinci Resolve because it's a pretty high impressive free software uh, for editing. So um, it would be smart. Maybe I should just suck it up and, and learn it. And uh, maybe I can uh, produce better looking videos uh, but yeah so right now I'm using a program called open shop open shot video editor it's pretty basic um, it's all drag and drop it's I don't I don't think it's anything special I wish they would add more features because uh, they do update it constantly um, at least at least monthly I should say um, ooh are stuck? How are we stuck? Well, we are stuck on something. Oh, a good old, good old log. Not surprised there. All right. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I am. Uh, I'm kind of. It, it's not a bad program. It is also free, um, but it's really simple to use. And I'm old. I don't like to uh, learn new technologies and things like that. So I'm actually going to stop this here. Let's go change the Dan. Let's get the Dan through this mess. And then we'll uh, we'll put the train back together for the last little bit of uh, this mission. But yeah, so anyways, the uh, that's what I use. I don't know if anyone can figure out or if it's... I don't even know how you would use it. I don't know if it's something that you get once you get above a certain level with YouTube and they give you... Because they say they give you cr uh, content creator tools, right? Um, which I honestly don't know what those are. <laughs> but... Yeah. I, I need to find a way to do a uh, stopwatch. But for now, I guess I'll just be like, yeah, that took 30 seconds, or that took 31 seconds, and this took 45 seconds, or, or whatever. We'll just keep running it that way. Can I just go straight through the middle? Oh, it looks like I can, but I, you know what? I'm going to do it. it. Sounds like I got to go way that way and then way back this way. That just seems way too complicated. As long as there's no stumps. Yeah, like... Why would I go around that mile and a half when I can just go straight through? Alright, so we look like we're nice and stuck. So that's perfect. Let's change trucks. Let's uh, attach our winch. We'll attach it to the Dan, and we will take off up the hill. 
And because we're on the uh, because we're on the concrete slabs, we have all the traction we need. It'd be a pretty hard press not to uh, be able to pull this up. And yeah, that is uh, that is all she wrote. It was a long it was a long trek, but it was uh, definitely worth it. And uh, let's go ahead and. Finish this off with the uh, regular cargo containers. I think we're gonna get a little bit of an animation. Probably that building will finish, and uh, yeah, I guess it's just that one building. So, hey, look at that! I was right. Warehouse is now available. Rewards! Yay! We, we have a warehouse, but it's not here. <laughs> what warehouse opened up? Huh, that's a weird one. This didn't do anything. Those were, that's the sawmill. That warehouse was already open. If anyone knows what that reward was, let me know because I have I have no clue what it was. Um, so we need to drop off concrete slabs in warehouse. Ooh, we gotta get concrete slabs and vehicle spare parts. And my guess is we're gonna have to go to the quarry to get them. Yep, concrete slabs are there. Where are the vehicle spare parts? Ooh. Really? We gotta go all the way to what? The Drownlands? Yep. That's a heck of a, a, a trek. Let me see here. The concrete slabs are there and then we could go there. Alright, so we could do, we could do this. Um, we could do this with two vehicles. We would have to get them back to this garage. Wouldn't be too bad. What vehicles do we have here? Sorry, hold on. There we go. What vehicles do we have here? We have the dairy and you know what? I was saying the dairy needs... We need to use the dairy for some things. Um, so let's go ahead and change this truck up. I want to throw the uh... Oh, never mind. They, it has those tires on it, so this is almost good to go. Let's go back to Zimogorsk. And we have the Azov with the Dan over here. You know what? I'm going to take the last minutes. We're going to drag these vehicles back to... Well, there's nothing over here. The trailer store here is the only thing open, so let's drag. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna drag both these vehicles back to the uh, the garage. And uh, yeah, we're going to uh, we're probably going to use the as off to. Uh, do this hauling. Well, I'm not gonna lie, the Tega is pretty good. It's got some speed. Come on, don't hit those stupid log stump things. The trailer should be fine, I hope. Yeah, that should bounce out of the way. This should be a nice slow crawl back, so probably will take more than nine minutes. We'll, uh, you know what, we'll record this to an hour and then we will uh, 
say our goodbyes, sign off, and uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll finish it up, and in the next episode, we'll be starting on supply and demand. We're definitely picking up our four spare parts and our concrete slabs. Is my oh, I was wondering why it felt like I was going so slow. There we go. <laughs> I didn't have the, uh, the dam was turned off, so, yeah, and in fact, yeah, the dam looks like he's faster than I am. Maybe I should be using the dam here, but, you know what, it's fine. Uh, we're gonna sneak through here, we're gonna avoid that stupid stump, because I hate stumps. I hate stumps more than the quarry, especially now. Stumps are my worst enemy. Alright, and down the hill we go, and then we're gonna immediately take a left. And avoid going in as much mud as possible. Um, something happened there, I don't really know what. Okay, we don't have to pretend to know. We just have to ignore it. And yeah, that's uh, that's that's all we need to do. I just realized I was sitting really far away from my mic. Hopefully it still picked me up. Come on, push me, push me, push me, push me, push me. That's probably way too close. Oh. No, I, I want like a tree that's in front of me. There we go. And let's, uh... Now we can get moving. <laughs> okay, this is probably going to take way longer than I was expecting it to. Um, but you know what? We're gonna we're gonna keep going. We got uh, seven and a half minutes left. <laughs> I'm running out of things to say right now because of how long this is taking. Uh, we are not going very fast. Let me try to get out of the mud. Hey, imagine that we're uh, we're speeding up a little bit. Problem is, we can't really escape the mud. There's just too much of it. Yeah, I got a feeling I probably should have exited the game before trying to take this back and kind of do a reset on all this mud, because not gonna lie, it's starting to feel like the more times you go through mud, the, uh, the harder it gets to go through it. But that could just be me, I guess. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? All right, let's uh, let's try to sneak through here. I know it's not much, but I'll take everything I can get. Any little bit of sneaking through mud I can get. That's pretty much dirt there. Come on. That's going to be a tight turn. -hoo -hoo. Come on, Dan, don't roll over. Don't, don't. I, s I saw it kind of all funky in the air. <laughs> I was like, it's going to roll over. Come on, let's try to get there. We've got uh, five and a half minutes. We can do this. Um, okay, Dan, good job. Just go straight through the, uh, straight through the puddle there. Okay, let's try... Okay, 
Okay, let's try to uh, get a little further up. Reattach. Once the dam gets its wheels up on the logs, it should be good. Yep. Ah, I stalled the engine. wasn't wasn't fast enough. Come on, Dan. I actually need you to turn that way. No, don't go. Be don't. What are you doing, Dan? Dan is not cooperating. Like I did not tell you to go down that way. Go up this way. Alright, so this is where I accidentally rolled over. We should be okay, fingers crossed. Maybe, sort of, possibly. I mean, I might just yeet myself off a cliff. <laughs> In the words of Jeremy Clarkson, um, who was apparently the first person to use the word yeet in a uh, in a public setting, I guess, or in a uh, televised setting. He was, uh, I think, he was pouring pouring something onto it. It might even been acid. He's pouring onto a hood of a car or bonnet of a car or the trunk of the car. I don't quite remember. And he just happened to be like, because he's, <laughs> well, literally because he shouldn't be pouring acid onto car paint. So, uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that was the official first uh, start of it. I don't know who made it famous to uh, the point where people were repeating it, but uh yeah, needless to say, it's uh, I think it's a trend that uh, went away pretty quick. Alright, so let's try to just... I'm just going to drag it over. I mean, I know... I think it will just go over. We might get some damage, which we did. Yeah, look at that. We just threw ourselves off a cliff again. Uh, it's working out for us. Although, I don't think we're going to quite make it. Don't. I, I think we're going to run out of time. We're so close. We have a minute and a half. Well, the Dan's pushing us for sure. Nice. But now we should be able to yank the Dan out. Once it gets stuck. Yep, right about there. Don't know what gear to use. All right, let's uh. Come on, why, why? Sometimes this quick winch just drives me absolutely bonkers. We're stuck on something. It's it's probably a tree. Okay, let's back her up. Okay, we're definitely not gonna make it, but you know what? I will I will get us to where we need to go. And I will get everything set up for the next mission. And yeah, so um well, you know what, we've got uh less than thirty seconds left, so we're we're definitely not gonna make it, so I will start signing off, so if you guys enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up, and uh, if you're not subscribed, please uh, subscribe and feel free to leave a comment, uh, good or bad. I uh, will take both, and I will uh, respond to both. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode, and we will see you in the next one. Bye for now.